Imagine this. In 2024, researchers make an exciting discovery about long COVID, a condition that keeps people feeling ill long after they've recovered from the virus itself. Top scientists at Massachusetts General Hospital and Harvard Medical School dive deep into how this condition impacts the brain and blood vessels. So let's embark on a journey together to unravel these findings, comprehend what they signify for patients, and explore how this could pave the way for more effective treatments. The researchers used a special type of brain scan called PBR28PET to look at inflammation in the brains of people with long COVID. This cutting-edge tool allowed scientists to observe the brain like never before, and what they found was astounding. In a comparison between 12 individuals still struggling with long COVID and 43 healthy people, something stood out. The brains of the long COVID patients were inflamed, particularly in several crucial areas. These aren't just any areas of the brain. Oh no, these are the regions that govern our thinking, our feelings and how we handle our emotions. It's like the control center for our day-to-day -day lives. So imagine if that control center is under constant attack from inflammation. It's like a never-ending storm in your mind, disrupting everything from your thoughts to your feelings. These areas affect how we think, feel, and handle emotions. So what does all this brain inflammation mean for people with long COVID? Let's break it down. Ordinarily, inflammation in the brain is the body's defensive response during injury or illness. It's a bit like your brain's own personal army, stepping up to protect and repair when things go wrong. But just like an army that overstays its welcome, if this inflammation doesn't pack up and go home, it can start causing a few problems. We're talking about lingering issues like fatigue, the struggle to think clearly, often termed as brain fog and pain. Now, this is where it gets interesting. The study suggests that these persistent symptoms aren't just random. They could be linked to issues with the blood vessels, the highways of our body responsible for transporting blood everywhere it needs to go. This is a big deal because it gives doctors a new way to help people with long COVID. The findings from this research could potentially revolutionize the treatment approach. Rather than just managing the symptoms, doctors could now aim to tackle one of the root causes, blood vessel problems. Imagine the scenario, instead of merely prescribing medications to alleviate tiredness or brain fog, doctors could now potentially treat the very source of these issues. They could, in essence, aim to reduce the brain inflammation that's causing these symptoms in the first place. This shift in focus, from symptoms to the root cause could lead to more effective and long-lasting relief for patients. This could mean a world of difference to long COVID patients. It offers the possibility of not just feeling better, but actually being better. This could be a major shift in how doctors manage long COVID, moving from just dealing with symptoms to tackling one of the root causes. This research is just the beginning, sparking a beacon of hope for those weathering the storm of long COVID. It's a stepping stone towards a future where we're not just managing symptoms, but actively combating the root cause. Imagine a world where new treatments are developed with a laser focus on improving the health of blood vessels to combat brain inflammation. Future studies will likely delve deeper, exploring specific treatments tailored to aid both the brain and blood vessels. Picture the relief, the liberation from the invisible shackles of long COVID. And if these treatments prove successful, they could significantly improve how people with long COVID feel and function. Yes, the dawn of a new era in long COVID treatment is on the horizon. In short, this discovery not only offers hope, but also points to new ways to treat long COVID. It's a game changer, shining a light on how inflammation and blood vessel issues could be at the heart of long COVID's persistent symptoms. We're moving from merely managing symptoms to potentially addressing one of the root causes. Future treatments may target these very issues, transforming the lives of those living with long COVID. This research is just the beginning, a launch pad to a future where long COVID is better understood and more effectively treated. So let's stay hopeful and keep our eyes on the horizon because there's promising progress being made. Stay tuned for more updates. You can find the link to the original study in the description below.